Oh, hey, what's up? If you've ever been interested in tintype photography, then this is the video for you. Come on in. Here it is, my studio. It's really just a glorified kitchen with blackout curtains over the windows, but it's more than enough. It's all that I need. If you've never heard of tintype photography before, it's the same photography that they used in the 1800s. They shoot on metal plates or glass, and using chemicals, they pour over the plate, and while the plate is still wet, we shoot and get the image, and then we develop it, and then we get soft, beautiful images like this. So, let's give it a go. All right, let's get started with all the chemicals that we're gonna need. First up is gonna be silver nitrate. I buy this pre-mixed stuff. It was about 80 bucks for a 500 milliliter bottle, but this will last for tons and tons of plates and it can be replenished. Next up is the fixer. I think it was about 15 bucks for a 500 milliliter bottle. It's one part fixer, one part water. I make 200 milliliter batches, so 100 milliliters developer, 100 milliliters water. So this lasts for tons and tons of plates as well. Next up is the collodion. This is what you pour on the plate to make the silver nitrate stick to it. This stuff will last for many, many, many plates and it was also around like 15 bucks. So. Not that big a deal. And then we have our developer, which was also about 15 bucks for this 500 milliliter bottle. And it'll make plenty and plenty of batches. Same thing with this, I make 200 milliliter batches. And last but not least, we have our lavender varnish, which we use to coat the plate after we're done and make it live on forever. I need to make a new batch of Dev and Fixer, so I'll show you guys how. We got our measuring device. What we're gonna do is pour out 100 milliliters of developer and 100 milliliters of distilled water. Pour that into our little mason jar. Always label everything. 9, 21, 23. 100 milliliter fixer and 100 milliliters distilled water. And again, label everything. 9, 21, 23. I love making these little batches because I could take them anywhere I go and they're enough for like 20, 30 plates. So right now that we got all the boring stuff out of the way, now we can really do the fun part. All right, now it's time to glove up. Whenever you get your tin plates, they're gonna come covered with this little piece of plastic. We take it off, that just protects it. It's never a bad idea to have one of these laying around. Just don't wanna make sure there's any dust or anything at all on here. Now it's time to coat the plate in collodion. The goal with this collodion here is to pour a big enough puddle in the middle of this plate here and then go from corner to corner to corner and then allow it to spill off so it coats the plate nice and evenly. We're not trying to go one direction, go another direction and then go back the same direction. We're trying to just coat it all in one nice even and then let it pour off and then we stick it in the silver nitrate. Corner to corner to corner and then we let it spill back off. I'm sure this is gonna infuriate someone, me pouring this collodion back in the same bottle. A lot of people use it and pour it back in different bottles, but I don't think that that tiny little bit of amount that's going back in the bottle is gonna harm anything. I think you guys need to chill out a little bit. This stuff tends to dry pretty quickly and it gets nice and tacky. And like I said, that's what allows the silver nitrate to stick to this. So now in our silver nitrate tank, we load the plate up very carefully. We dunk it in and we leave it in there for three minutes. So as you can see, I have this red light up here. Another little pro tip is getting yourself a little headlamp that has a red. This stuff is not sensitive to red light, only to blue and like certain UV lights. So it's completely safe under red light. So pro tip, at 15 seconds, go ahead and cut the lights. When we take it out of the tank, it's gonna have this really nice milky looking consistency to it. That's what we want, that's what we want to see. Very carefully, not touching any part of the front. I just kind of dab off the edges here on a paper towel. And I take an extra paper towel and I just clean off the back of the plate. It's kind of like cooking, you're just cleaning as you're going, right? Just want to keep everything nice and clean as we go. Now we can load it into our film holder here. Face down, close it up. And now we can turn the lights back on. You're gonna have to get yourself one of these film holders here. Once the plate is in the film holder, it's completely light protected and we're good to turn the lights back on and go and take our shot, so come on. This was my first tintype ever. As you can see, it's very just one tone, no contrast. I think I overdeveloped it. So I'm gonna recreate this image and see if I can get a better shot. I already have my image already nice and focused up. That's what we're gonna shoot. Since I already have everything focused up, I can take this plate off. 
can throw my film holder in. And we can take our dark slide out. I think I'm gonna do three seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, done. Kind of developed these weird like sound effects and the way that I count. <laughs> kind of like a metronome, if you will. That's it, we put the dark slide back in. It's again light safe, and now we can go back into the dark room and develop it. So now, we take the plate out. We're gonna use the developer that we just made. We don't need much, about like half a shot glass worth. The trick with the developer is to pour it over the plate in one fail swoop as evenly as you can. As soon as we do that, we're gonna start to look for an image. The second we see the image, we're gonna run it underwater to stop the developer. Here we go. There it is. Run it over, stop the develop. Oh yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is. I like to wash off the back any of the residue from the silver nitrate so it doesn't weaken the fixer at all. All right, now I can actually turn the lights back on. So this is kind of what it looks like now. I was just waiting for the image of the baby to kind of come out just so I could see it enough, and that's when I stopped the developer. If you guys have seen my videos before, this is the bottom of the Pensta camera. I use this as my fixer tray. All right, as soon as we pour the fixer in, that's when you're gonna to start to see the image and the magic happen. There he is. Look at that little guy. It can be really tough to shoot with artificial light, and I think this is a little underexposed, so I think we're gonna do it again. I'm no expert by any means in this. I've only been doing it for about a month, but I truly love it, and I love making content. So let's go and see if we can make a better one. Are any of you guys into the show, The Walking Dead? As I am, and I loved it. And I just started watching Fear of the Walking Dead, which I thought it was gonna hate, but now I'm like season four or five in it, and addicted all over again. What do you guys think? Do you guys have a preference between the OG Walking Dead and the new Fear of the Walking Dead? I know that was random. I was just thinking about it while I was trying to do this. Also, peeling this plastic off is always super satisfying. Corner to corner to corner, and then let it pour off. I rock it back and forth so it doesn't create any streaks. We want, again, one nice even layer. All right, ooh, I don't wanna spill that. All right, let's get into the silver nitrate. Start the timer for three minutes. All right, that's three minutes. Again, when it comes out of here, we're looking for that nice creamy milky look. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's what we're looking for. I dab the edges on paper towel. Just to soak up any of the stuff that's left. Grab another paper towel and clean off the back. Drop it in the film holder. Now we're good to go get the shot again. Just put that in there. Prime the lens. I forget to do things when I get really excited sometimes, so. All right, let's do 10 seconds. One Mississippi, 10. Damn, I knocked the camera pretty good there in the beginning, so who knows what this one's gonna look like, but we shall see. And that's it. Time to go develop it and see what we get. Back into the dock we go. You know the drill. Get ourselves some developer. All right, here we go. There we go. This one should be a good one. Turn the lights back on. This is what we're looking like before we put fixer on it. So let's put it in our little tray. All right, let's pour some fixer in it and see what happens. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the one. Clearly I'm no professional at this. I'm still very much a novice at this, but I absolutely love doing it. It's all a learning curve and all of the mess ups and everything along the way, just like life, you learn from. This is the first plate that I ever shot. You can see that it's very just gray, it's very flat, not a lot of contrast going on in there. But I was still very, very happy and proud of this because it was the first one I'd ever done. Perfection, at least in my eyes. I know I can do a lot better, 
But hey, for only doing this for a month, I think that we're looking really, really good on this one. Got your highlights, you got your darks, you got contrast, you got shadow, 